What's going on? Klaus here, and thank y'all so much for tuning in for today's episode of our Town Online Let's Play episode number 48. And guys, the update has dropped, and now hero upgrades are cheaper. It's fantastic. It's amazing. My king woke up level 22, and a good level 23 is only 90,000 Dark Collector. I believe it was 115,000 before the update, so that's a significant discount. So I'm expecting once this queen wakes up from her one week nap, as a level 24 it will cost her about 105 dark elixir to up, up, be upgraded i don't know exactly how much it is but that is not the point of today's video guys today we are going to be celebrating a max laboratory or at least doing the final lab upgrade and yes guys if you look through this the only lab upgrade that we need to do left is the earthquake spell and it's it that's it the lab will be done at that point which i find to be absolutely crazy i'm so excited to be finally done with jasper's laboratory i literally started this account when i started my channel two years ago and he is now finally becoming a real boy with a max town online laboratory still tons of walls tons of hero upgrades to do but that laboratory being maxed is a huge step towards being done with town hall nine and possibly moving on to Town Hall 10. So let's upgrade this Earthquake spell as soon as we possibly can. I can't wait, guys. Eight day upgrade, 60,000 Dark Elixir. And that actually reminds me, I have 180,000 Dark Elixir. I've been farming Dark Elixir like a madman using Goblin Knife. I love this strategy. No, uh, Clan castle troops at all and still killing it on the dark collector grabbing realm. It's amazing guys So I'm gonna do a you know probably another boost or two today and um, and get a lot of work done So 60,000 dark elixir finishing our laboratory max lab guys. We need some hype in the chat We need some likes. We need some comments. We need all that kind of stuff because this is a celebratory moment for us in three two one BAM Yes! All right, guys, that is it. The lab is maxed. We have a max Town Hall 9. As far as the laboratory is concerned, we're completely and absolutely and utterly done. That is just a beautiful side, guys. So now, Giants, get out of the way. Get out of the way. All right, so now, as you see on our progress base, we can, now that all the lab is done, we can move this laboratory over to the other side of the base. And that is is a beautiful thing guys one less thing to worry about now every single drop of dark elixir can go into our heroes every single drop of gold obviously will go into our walls and obviously the elixir so everything is going into the walls and the heroes now super super great and by the way between episodes i only did two walls like this goblin knife is great for one thing and one thing only dark elixir farming so without any more delay let's go find ourselves an amazing base to to attack and again normally and almost in every situation i'm looking for 3,000 dark elixir however goblin knife being that it costs no dark elixir to execute is I'm gonna skip that one. That one was a tough base. Um, being that it costs zero dark elixir to execute the goblin knife, you really can hit whatever 2,500, 2,000, whatever you want. It is totally doable. And here's a good example of a base that may or may not be a good example of a goblin knife base. Um, it's a good example of one because there is actually a pretty decent path for the goblins to take to get in and grab that dark elixir. The problem though is the fact that there is a lot of stuff around it. But I'm going to try anyway guys. We're going to just go YOLO into this. Let's throw down our, our giants. Let's throw down our archers. Okay. So that is our funnel. Let's put our king in there. Let's wall break. Come on, wall breakers. You got this, buddies. You got this. Nice. Okay, so that is one entry. We do want... Oh, our giants are going forward. That's awesome. Let's use our goblins to create what I call a goblin funnel. That's removing exterior collector and uh, other things. And then let's get our jump spell. All right? Now we need all of the dark elixir to go down in this base. I'm going to save like 20 goblins. Let's drop a... Uh, let's drop a heal spell and a rage spell, poison the clan castle balloons, and looks like we are going to miss out on the dark elixir storage. That is a terrible thing. Let's pop the king's ability, though, 
and let's send in the rest of our goblins and they're going for the dark elixir but are they going to survive the trip i don't know get it goblins get it you got this okay we failed that was unfortunate so we just had a very unlucky um, a very unlucky pathing for the goblins. Like I said at the beginning of the attack, this base was pretty good at defending Goblin Knife. But look, still profiting 2,000 Dark Elixir with a Goblin Knife. No Dark Elixir spent besides the Poison Spell. Just an, a, still a very profitable attack, even though we missed out on the storage. We still got the Town Hall. We won the attack. We didn't lose. And um, gained a little in the loot bonus. 70 Dark Elixir. We cannot go without mentioning that massive huge um a dowry of 70 dark elixir amazing stuff okay so that didn't go according to plan but hey i'm not perfect and i fail on occasion but i want to show you guys let's see what is the biggest dark elixir grab that we've gotten memo has 4599 dark elixir and this is the base this is the one i wanted to show you guys actually so check out this base here 5250 dark elixir that's a lot of dark elixir and it is all sitting in the middle this is a core base we need to dive straight into the core we have to dive straight across a wizard tower a bomb tower a king We've got a wizard tower on this far side. I mean, it's going to be a tricky business. So what I do is I deploy my giants with a pretty wide spread. Notice they're, you know, pretty wide apart. We got archers on either side just starting the funnel. Goblins on either side starting the funnel as well. Then I'm going to sneak in. There's the king. He is great. I love the king. Then I'm going to drop a jump on either side. So this jump leads into this air, air defense compartment. And then that jump leads into that dark elixir drill and the storage. So everything is put. And then look at that. I swagged a heal spell without even wanting to. Brilliant. Brilliant. So here's the rate spell, guys. There's the poison on the wizards. There is the goblins. We've already grabbed the entire drill on the right. The storage in the middle. Here is the town hall. And are they going to get it? Yes, they got the town hall. And then they get a couple shots off on this uh, drill before they go down. So that is the power. Even without the heal. If I had not fat fingered that heal, it would have easily been all the dark elixir. But still, 4,599 dark elixir. Just like that. I love this strategy, guys. So let's wait. Let's get ourselves another army. Actually, we have another army. Why wait? Let's just do this. Let's get the next one training up. And let's go out and get ourselves another base. Hopefully this time actually getting the storage. Like I said, it's easy to grab the Dark Elixir, but it's also easy to oversight and not grab all of it. That's the way this game is. So there's a 3,000 Dark Elixir grab. It is sitting next to a max wizard tower. I want to avoid those wizard towers because I believe that those goblins die with one shot even under heal against those max wizard towers. So you do want to be very careful, but here we go. Okay, so a dead town hall 10 um, with that inferno, so technically a dead town hall 9.5. And we can actually do some fancy things. So let's actually put these archers out here. Actually, we don't need the archers. I, I took out the corner hut for fun, okay? Let's take out this dark elixir drill. It is outside the range of everything, so that's going to be a bit of a dark elixir there. Next step is we have a drill down here. So let's put down, let's say, let's do that many giants. Let's put down that many of those, and then let's wall break into this here. All right, we're going to actually snipe this dark elixir out of this drill. Well, we were, we were supposed to. There we go. Dark elixir is down, and now the rest of the attack comes after this final drill and then if we're lucky which sometimes i'm lucky sometimes i'm not we are going to manage to take out the dark elixir out of the storage so wall breakers down there wasn't enough to get through the wall and fortress so we'll actually jump we'll double jump we're going to place a heal spell covering everything a rage spell and then let's get these goblins going in. Go, goblins, go! It's actually easier for me to see where the goblins are going on the screen there. So there we go, guys. Goblins are making their way through. Wizards are busy on the giants. They're going to grab the elixir. They're going to grab this dark elixir. It's poison over the queen. And dark elixir is down. But we're probably not going to get to that town hall because it was on the opposite side. Of, you never know. Nope, never mind. <laughs> That's okay. So, without our king, we still grabbed every drop of dark elixir using goblin knife effectively. I love this strategy, guys. I, I forgot about the beauty of the goblin knife, but honestly, goblins are the unsung hero of Clash of Clans. I mean, they really are amazing, and they do such a fantastic job, especially if you're not afraid of using your spells. So, 4,000 dark elixir. I don't care if I lost. I don't care if I lose some trophies. There's dead bases all around Gold and Crystal League, so I don't care where I'm at. And 
and a, actually a lot of elixir. So that's great too. We do need the elixir to cover cost, gold for the walls. So uh, guys, that is my beloved and amazing goblin knife. Now there are probably some amazing, uh, uh, what are they called, replays here. Oh my god. Goodness, look at this base, guys. It's a ring base, all right? 4,400 Dark Elixir, and the Dark Elixir is on one side and the other and in the core. So that is actually pretty tricky. How do you get your goblins to get all the way through and take out all the Dark Elixir? That is going to be a trick. So what I do, again, kind of a wide deployment of my giants. I've got 20 of them, 18 sometimes. This kind of depends. Um, so the giants go down, wall break into this compartment here. We would love for the wall breakers to get in through and into the core. There we go. So now we can use the jump spells. Giants are doing a great job tanking. There goes the goblins. And now we have this problem of funneling. Where are the goblins going to go? There's no there's no telling. Rage and heal down. Goblins are going all, all over the place. Now we need to drop the jump. Hurry! All right, the jump spell is in. We probably could have spanned it, go, gone over the entire core there, but we misclicked. I don't remember exactly. But now the goblins are going straight for the drill. They already took out the storage, the town hall, and the other drill. Guys, those goblins just did it. They did their job in mass. If you have like 15, 20 goblins, they will melt through anything super fast that they want to take out. They are super strong, guys. So by just having the right spells, having some good wall breakers, some giants for tanking, and the, the, the king helps a little bit too, we were able to grab, go all the way through this base and grab a an absolute metric ton of Dark Elixir, 4,437 Dark Elixir, plus a loot bonus because we grabbed that Town Hall and didn't lose the attack. So, Goblin Knife for the win, guys. I absolutely love it. So, here is my plan for now, is I'm going to cut the video. I'm going to finish this boost off. This queen's going to be done in an hour and a half, so I might do two boosts. I don't know. And then the plan is to upgrade both of these heroes today and do as many walls as possible. We're about two-fifths, maybe just under two-fifths of the way done with our walls, which is fantastic. The problem is these hero upgrades take forever. King would be going to level 23. And then he's got 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. That's six weeks plus the 23. So that's like seven more weeks before we are maxed down hole nine. We will absolutely be done with walls well before that. So all that being said, guys, I'll be back. If I have a massive insane loot grab, I'll show you. But we need to get these heroes maxed. And here we are, guys, at the end of my second boost. My queen woke up. She's now level 24, and we're at 175,000 Dark Elixir, which I believe is nearly 50,000 more than where we left off. And I found this base, Rokio, Rocky, whatever his name is, is sitting on a ton of Dark Elixir, 4,900 Dark Elixir. So we're going to kind of... Uh, we're gonna kind of sneak in, all right? We're gonna kind of sniggle our way in here and we're gonna try our best to uh, take this dark elixir uh, from this base here. So we've got, we need some more giants. We need to make sure we grab the, the dark out of this drill here. This is a boosted drill. This is definitely an active player. So there we go, one drill is down. Now let's get the other drills at the top and also just kind of pursue the rest of the base here. So uh, giants down, we need our archers down too. There we go. Let's get our king and our queen in. Let's also wall break, even though I don't think two of them is enough. Come on, break through, come on. No, okay, fine. All right, so uh, goblins down just to clear up just a little bit, a little goblin funnel. Let's see, let's get the king and the queen to break through the wall. There we go. And um, now let's put down our jump spell. Let's put down a heal. Let's put down a rage. Let's put down our goblins. And yes, that is what I'm talking about, guys. Goblin knife. They're going to make their way to that dark elixir storage. Come on, guys. Oh, what happened? Oh, they're all over here. Okay. Key. Now they're coming to the dark elixir. Oh, they've already got the storage. Now they just get the town hall. Get that down, all buddies. Oh, that wizard tower really stopped us, but that's okay because we've got a king and a queen. And once this queen turns around, hopefully she'll turn around and grab the town hall for us. That's where the rest of the dark elixir are sitting. So, uh, queen, wonderful for you, wonderful of you to take out this uh, this town hall. Perfect, good job, queen. Pop the queen's ability, new level 24 queen, which is absolutely amazing. She'll take out the town hall, and then now it is her very job to take out this town hall for the one star. And actually, look at this king. He's like, I want some loot, man. Get that loot, King. Look at that. 17 Dark Elixir left, and it must be sitting. Yep, it's sitting in this, this clan castle. That's totally fine. So, uh, King barely failed on that. Grabbed a little more gold while he was on his way out. Now, Queen, if you could grab the two-star, that would be super cool. Um, just saying, man. Just say it. Let's go, Queen. Yes! All right, so that was the two-star. I get very few two-stars while using Goblin Knife. And, oh, 
why not be a little patient and grab the remaining 17 dark elixir out of this treasure unless the mortar okay the mortar almost killed us but we got it boom now there's zero dark elixir left and the queen did a fantastic job over 5,000 dark elixir on the final the final base of my boost that was pretty dang awesome so we're sitting on 180,000 dark elixir i also did i think two walls during the boost as well but i have some bad news if it if it weren't for this 60,000 dark elixir upgrade in this earthquake spell and by the way there you go seven days 22 hours one minute 52 seconds just to prove that yes i did two full boosts um if it weren't for the 60,000 dark elixir we spent on that earthquake spell we would have easily farmed up enough to do both the king and the queen the king as an upgrade is going to cost 90,000 dark elixir and the queen is going to cost 115,000 dark elixir that would be a grand total of 205,000 dark elixir now unfortunately we can only hold 190,000 so we are currently 25,000 dark elixir off from our goal I'm gonna hop into our progress base we're gonna go ahead and upgrade this king okay the king 90,000 dark elixir going to level 23 it's nice that he's cheaper but unfortunately we don't have enough loot for both but we can still upgrade our hero so let's do this guys 90,000 dark elixir in three two one BAM there we go king did a great job today he was absolutely clutch in several situations but also i didn't have him for a lot of my attacks as well but now we have the question of the queen the queen just woke up level 24 i would love to take her to level 25 that would be absolutely amazing so that means that we need 15 25 000 more dark elixir i've got 3,000 on my treasury i'm gonna leave that in there so what do i do i farmed up an average of about 25 000 dark elixir per hour doing the goblin knife now that i don't have my king it might not be as much i don't know but what i do know is i have the holiday super pack now that's that's 500 gems for 4.99 look at that 500 gems four dollars and 99 cents if you get treasury and go to the pile of gems at the bottom left hand side there 500 gems for 4.99 so basically what i'm saying is that you're buying the gems which i probably would have bought the gems anyway because i spend a lot of gems boosting barracks so i it's it's free loot it is free 30 thousand dark elixir and we need 25,000. so if we buy the super holiday pack or whatever it's called then we'll get two walls because each one's two million golden elixir and we'll be able to upgrade our queen today I think it's a good deal. I, again, would probably would have bought the gems eventually anyway, so why not take advantage of this amazing deal and get our queen going? So, I'm going to buy this, and we're going to upgrade our queen and a whole bunch of walls. So, give me a second. There we go, guys, and allow our storages to fill, guys. That is beautiful, plus 500 gems. Again, I would have bought them anyway, so it's all good. I can't, I can't sit here and stare at this trunk. Get out of here, trunk. All right, so now we have enough dark elixir to upgrade i mean i could have sat here for another hour but it was like five bucks or a full hour of sitting here boosting again it's already been two hours i'm starting i'm starting to lose i'm starting to lose my mind so i decided to go the easy way out that's why i work for a living so i could spend my money the way i want to and right now it was to upgrade my queen and get some free loot so let's do this guys 115,000 dark elixir a seven day upgrade in three two one bam and there we have it guys both heroes going down simultaneously and that's super efficient guys so for seven days they're gonna be chilling i'll be goblin knifing without heroes to get enough dark elixir to do it again and um we're gonna try to max out these heroes as quickly as possible queen going to 25 king going to 23 it is it's it's great so next is we actually have look at that we've got more gold than we can actually hold in our storages which is pretty crazy so let's upgrade four walls with gold okay because this is four that's eight million gold so let's do this guys in three two one bam and again like i said earlier I, I i predict that we'll be done with walls well before our heroes are done but while we have the loot we might as well do it so i've got enough for uh three walls here so six million elixir in three two one bam there we go and it's amazing to me to think that yesterday because i did a lot of the goblin knifing to prepare for this episode yesterday I actually had none of these walls done none of them and now we've done what like 10 so that's really really good so guys that is gonna do it for me today do not forget that the laboratory is now maxed out that is super awesome I'm so pleased I'm so glad it's so satisfying and now we can completely focus on our heroes and our walls 
Be sure and hit that like button if you did in fact like that. I think that's a likable thing. Also hit that subscribe button for daily clash videos and streams. Join the class family. I love each and every one of you. Thank you so much for tuning in. And as always, I will see y'all again next time. Thank <laughs> you.